Hi over there and welcome to another clip. So probably you can tell by the title, I have my eyes already done, sort of. I still need to finish the under eye part, but if you want to see how the eyes are going to turn out finally, I actually going to have a clip on it. But yeah, I want to do a separate clip where I do my base routine basically, because why not? I don't know, I just felt the need to share this. So without further ado, let's just jump into the clip and see what I'm generally you general gen, what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah. so I do start with a primer. Recently, I was not doing this thing. Like if you do put a moisturizer, you don't have to. But I got this one. It was really cheap. It has really good ingredients compared to other ones, and it's really hydrating. So I'm gonna use that on my face. I put it randomly just like that. That's why the hell not. And I don't like spreading it out with my hands because it's very silicone-y that it doesn't not, it doesn't bother me on the face but it does bother me on the hands. So I just take a kind of like not too dense brush and rub it in. I don't remember how this brush is called, but it's from Real Techniques, as you can tell. Next, the thing is, this time I'm gonna use, I mean this time, I usually use Revlon Colorstay and The Ordinary Cover Foundation. This is in shade Buff, yeah, and this is in shade 1.2 Yellow. This is too yellow, this is too neutral, so I'm combining them. Ma majority of the cases it doesn't turn out as my skin tone, but if I use buff only, I look dead, so I'm not all about that. But if I want to, to, very, like, to have a foundation that really lasts a long time, I do use Estee Lauder Double Wear. However, I did read recently that it's called Metogenic, I think it's called. How you say it in English too, where basically if you have a skin that is problematic like mine, sometimes I do get a lot of acne around my chin, as you can tell, that's why I have all of this, and you're not supposed to use it every day, apparently it's not good for your skin, and I do have problematic area around my mouth that I'm not risking it and I'm just skipping it for those nice days it is an amazing 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 foundation it doesn't crease it doesn't look funny at the end of the day but then again if you just go out like I'm gonna probably go for about like a couple of hours or so besides the fact that it's expensive and yeah it is also not very all right on a day-to-day -day use. I want to try Born This Way, but until that time, I'm gonna use these two until I finish them. So yeah, I always have them mixed up in this kind of like container just to make my life easier. So yeah, let's see how this one turns out. It's better than before. Uh, it still is darker, but I feel if you distribute it towards the neck, it's all right. It's not like it's just it always turns pink on my face. I don't understand. When in reality, my undertone is like vanilla kind of. I don't know. I'm still in a hunt of like a foundation that doesn't look make me look dead. My favorite. Um, concealer is actually the Revolution Conceal and Define. I don't like heavy products, right? So it really depends what you're looking for. I also never try Tarte Cheek Tape, which I know uh, people are going crazy whenever I'm telling them I love makeup and I never tried that thing. They're like, what? Yeah, I never tried it because it's too expensive in this moment to invest in it. So I tried this and I really like it. At the same time, I don't like very heavy concealers. I like using Catrice Camouflage concealer, for example, but only on my lid uh, as a primer. I actually have it underneath that eyeshadow today. So um, it really depends on your preferences, which mine are not 
like I do enjoy heavy makeup, but not heavy heavy. I don't know. I don't know. I might be able to explain it properly. It will be good what I mean. And also, my dark circles are not that bad, so it really covers well. Let me just highlight a bit because I'm feeling it today. I don't know if you can tell, the foundation actually has a really decent coverage all together. Both of them do actually, so I really like it. So, before this creases, I'm gonna set fast because I do have some lines underneath my eye and I really love this Lottie London Ready Set Go powder I don't understand like I genuinely think they discontinued it it's very fine milled like if you can do you can see it when this happens with a powder that means it's very very fine I do have normal skin and I don't need that much setting, it's just I do have some creasing going on already under my eyes. So what I do is literally do that and set as fast as I can like this. And I tap more than actually drag to be honest because I realize when dragging it leaves me a lot of texture and I don't want that. And I do set it on my forehead as well because I already have three lines around there. Uh, I still don't know what to do with them because like it's just annoying. It's just when I put foundation it doesn't look nice. Like they don't bother me but literally when I put foundation it's just a nightmare. And what is left I just go like that. Okay. I hope the settings did not change too much. The zoom in, I might, I mean, because I, I had to change the card, so. And I don't have presets on that camera. Anyhow, so I set, I did set my face last, yes, face last time, so next I guess is brows, obviously. My favorite brow product at the moment, always and forever, this over the natural cosmetic brow gel it's just cheap and nice and cool toned whatever I like what I want and I read it, rediscovered this MUA pomade in fair and literally I have no idea why I was not using it but now I realized that I was silly and I really like it I do have a brush from Ilure London like this one because I don't like this and to be honest I would be able to deal with this on its own no not on its own with to deal with it and that's it but like I need a spoolie that's one thing that I always need always I'm taking just a tiny bit on it and I usually put it in the cap and try to kind of like distribute it on the brush like I wanted to the way I wanted to is just to be on the both of the sides of the thing and also doing this like taking product on both of the sides and in the middle if that makes sense so I just li literally go like this underneath the brow and then upper brow try to kind of like define not gonna lie I do have my, my brows are alright I do have a shape to like a natural shape to it so I don't have to work very hard on it so yeah I can't say I'm not lucky in that I think I am so I'm just distributing the product and taking it like this down I'm always brushing through and I also don't like very defined brows I like them more natural but maybe that's because I do have hairs over there uh, they're missing some but I don't mind them that much yeah this is not the best brow I can do but 
to the different So what I always like to do is use the brow gel because it's either the brow gel by itself or that with the brow gel or something with the brow gel. I always use the brow gel. Most of the times actually. Not always. I'm alive if I say always for well, most of the times. And I still go with the other spoolie. I just like going through and making sure everything is like nice and smooth. That is that. The bronzer I'm, I started using now and is not discontinued because I have another one, but it is discontinued so I can't reference it sadly. This is the Beauty Crop Sardinia Sand and it is a bronzer that is more on the cool tone side, which I really like. I like more to contour rather than bronze up so I usually use bronzers as contour no, no idea if that's wrong or right but I still do it so um, I mean I know that's not how you're supposed to use it but I'm still using that way so I distribute it only around this part of my forehead and here um, and that's it actually I put too much over there I sometimes go underneath here, but I don't feel it does too much to my face. I don't know. And I always like to take the sponge and with both of the uh, bronzer, contour, and blush, I always do this because I don't like it to be harsh. I hate that. On myself, you do you. Because like I know some YouTubers do it and I, I quite enjoy it because wear it very confident I don't so no blush I'm using this obsession isn't it peachy palette it's actually the only blush palette I own and I only have one more blush which is from a palette from Too Faced I don't I'm not insane with brush brush blush um, so yeah I'm gonna use daydream and I actually think I'm gonna do a clip on it with like swatches a very short one And last but certainly not least, my favorite part, which is highlighter. I've watched Jacqueline Hill lately a lot, and she always used this hourglass thing where she puts it just about here, and then she goes with like a blinding highlight on the actual uh, part where she's supposed to put the highlight. So I realized I have this from Elf, which is the Moonline Pearls. I got it for free at super drug because I bought two products and they gave this one for free which is nice but it's not definitely not blinding like as I like it to be so I do use it all the time in combination with other ones just to not like you know leave it there to die but I've realized it could work like Jacqueline Hill's technique and I tried it and I liked it and now I'm doing that most of the time so what she does is literally go like this over here Just over there. I just nice sometimes just to see. And then I go with a blinding one on top. And I think I'm gonna go this time with golden crown. I really like that. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow palette. Actually, I think this one golden flower crown and blossom glow you can actually find them you know separately so yeah but as always i will leave every link from where i from where i'm buying stuff down below just so you have an idea on my like, with a very tiny brush because i realized i'm going overboard with highlight on my nose i just literally place it on my tip of the nose 
And even with this same brush, I sometimes like to just emphasize the highlight on the lips. Oh, and I forgot. Um, I definitely go with bronzer, contour, whatever under my lip. Because I think it makes them just a bit more like volume. Like, gives them a bit more volume. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it definitely takes, does the trick. I'm not a fan, a fan on the scent. It's the I Heart Revolution fixing spray with cucumber. It doesn't smell like cucumber. I would say it smells like something very. It smells like cucumber, but very floral cucumber, which is weird. But yeah, I always set because I do need the powder to settle with the foundation nicer. This is what I'm doing for my full face. Every, not every day. I wouldn't say every day. To be honest, this is not my everyday makeup unless I have time to do it. But if you want to see me doing an everyday kind of makeup, I do it very quick and with like just a few products. I don't even use foundation most of the times uh, which is crazy but I don't so yeah I think I'm gonna do that as well at some point but so far that is it for this clip if you wanna see the eyes like I said I do I will post I think I don't know which one is gonna go first but I always leave cards when I talk about a specific video so if it's there there it's on so yeah i'm definitely posting a clip with the eye look finished so that is it i hope you enjoyed this clip and it was useful and relevant and i hope we'll see you next time bye